Dear colleagues, welcome. We have important work ahead of us for this European Council on banks, on employment, on growth. We can take this work up in the light of an agreeable reminder from Oslo, a reminder of Europe's purpose and of its fundamental achievements bringing peace and reconciliation to the continent. The award of the Nobel Prize for Peace to the European Union is a tremendous honor for all of our countries, for all our institutions, and above all, for all our citizens. Upon hearing the news, many felt touched and proud. Proud that the way we in Europe live together is recognized by the world at large as societies united in diversity, sharing democratic values and human rights. Today, I would also like to pay a tribute to our predecessors, to those who courageously started the work after the Second World War, and to those who later on worked relentlessly for their own countries to join this common adventure. It is our shared responsibility to carry their work forward. We're facing serious difficulties today, but we can draw confidence by remembering that the obstacles the builders of Europe had to overcome were frankly more daunting. They, they had to rebuild the continent, wrecked by violence, by dictatorships, and they succeeded. Their courage and statesmanship is a constant inspiration. So may this Nobel Prize be seen as a recognition of a great joint endeavor and a strong appeal to preserve Europe as a continent of peace, progress, and prosperity for the next generation. Thank you.